ready? All right. Go Craddock up next. Go ahead. Coach Moore said after the game that you guys on the staff were proud of the way Ben played. Once you looked at the film, what did you see that you hadn't seen from the box upstairs during the game? Yeah, what I, you know, what I liked about Ben was, you know, and a kid in that situation, going back to his hometown, first college start, uh, he could have very easily been been nervous and 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 all that. But I mean, he went out there first play of the game, uh, hit a big play to Cortland, and and he just showed, you know, he showed that he wasn't scared at all. And and I think that was the biggest thing. He he had no fear. Went out there, um, he let it loose. You know, we said we told him we're going to be aggressive in the game, and we were. And, um, you know, we needed to hit a few more to help him out, and some guys could have made some plays to help him. Um, but I was very pleased with him. You know, I thought that he, that he missed a couple throws, but going back and looking at it, you know, we got to make those plays. That was one of our keys to victory. Our playmakers had to make plays and put in the situation to do it. And, um, you know, so I was, I was really pleased with Ben. You know, do we have to get better? Yeah, we got to get a lot better. Um, we, gotta, we can't miss red zone throws that are open. Um, and we definitely can't turn the football over in the red zone. So that's some of the things that he took and he'll get better at uh, as the season moves along. Going from a senior quarterback to a redshirt freshman, how did your preparation and conversation with him differ from what you do with Matt? Well, there's, there are two different styles. So our, our style changed a little bit when Matt went out. And, um, you know, getting ready with Ben, we just had to, you know, tell him, you know, this is your first start. And I mean, he knew all that. It's just a matter of him, uh, if, whether he was going to be nervous or, or, or poised or all, all that stuff. And he, and he did a good job being poised. But, um, you know, he, he's going to be fine uh, moving forward. We're, we're really excited that uh, the direction we're going with him as our quarterback now and, and the different things we're going to do with him. That's, it's a little bit different than what we were doing with Matt. But um, looking forward to, to, to moving forward with him. Yeah, it is important that we include everybody. I mean, it, it takes more than just two guys. And, um, you know, it wasn't by design. We threw the ball to other guys. You know, we just didn't make any plays um, on the ball uh, when we were given a chance to. But uh, moving forward, I mean, that was part of our plan for the Baylor game. Um, we felt like we had to max protect uh, a lot of the time, get, only get three receivers out in the route. Uh, just to give Ben a chance to get the ball off against all their mug looks they, they were running. Um, and I thought our pass protection was, was tremendous. I mean, I thought our, our running backs did a great job. Our offensive line did a great job. Um, really, the only sack we gave up was, was by the tight end. And um, that's a position that has to come on. Uh, we have to be better at that position. That's what makes this team go uh, is that position. So. Um, but but overall, like like you asked, you know, we want to get the ball to more guys. Yeah, but a lot of it by scheme against Baylor was only three man routes, and when two of those guys that you mentioned are two of the three, you know, it's a high percentage they're going to get the football. Yeah, we're starting to put pieces together. Um, you know, we're coming along at running back nicely. You know, go, those guys are still young, young players. Um, they're going to make young mistakes, uh, but it's just about you know how to you know try to eliminate as much as you can. Um, but we're you know also coming on at receiver too with with James and and Myron. Uh, Shelby played good without the football. I know he didn't catch anybody. He played good without the football. Um, so we're we're definitely coming along. Like I said, we just we just need to challenge our our tight ends a little bit more to be more productive, uh, to be more physical. And uh, that's really the only area um, that we're lacking in right now is that position. You mentioned the tight ends. Keith Gunn moved over from the defensive side to now coach your tight ends. What does he bring to that position? He brings toughness. He brings, uh, he brings a, a knowledge of coaching that position, whereas last year, um, you know, we had our GA uh, coaching that position, and, and, and he did a good job. but. Um, um, it's really hard. It would be hard for me to go coach offensive line because I never played that position. And, and Keith 
uh, was you know played a little tight end back in the day and, and understands the position. So I think that's really helped those guys in the in the long run in terms of technique. And now they just got to go do it. They got to be physical, um, and they got to they got to take it upon themselves that this is the most important position outside the quarterback on our team, and we need to approach every day like that. What do you? What do you? Uh, yeah, right now we're we're just really young across the board uh, from a depth chart standpoint. We only have two seniors on offense right now, um, and that's Chauncey Briggs and that are playing. That's Chauncey Briggs and Jeremiah Gaines. Um, so you know we're just trying to to get our our guys that we feel like are our best players out there and, and play them as much as we possibly can. Right now, you know, like Coach said, we're we're very. Um, depth depleted at the quarterback position from a scholarship standpoint. So, um, you know, Ben's the next guy. You know, we felt like he had he had won the backup backup job in, in fall camp, and we went with him as our quarterback. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I definitely think we got a lot better. Um, all across the board on offense, we did get better from game one to game two, and that's what coaches Coach Morris's challenge to us was: is he wants to see us get better from game one to game two, and uh, for the offensive line not to give up a, a sack, um, I think that that shows itself that you know shows for itself that we got better up front. Um, you know they. They they did a great job in, in pass protection, man. They're, Baylor has some tough tough looks, and uh, did they give up some pressures? Yeah, um, but we still were able to get it out. And then some of the pressures were the free rusher. You know, we don't have they're bringing seven. We only got six to block them, and so that's that was a couple hits on Ben uh, with that. And Ben knew going into the game he was going to get hit on those looks. It was just a matter of getting it out and trying to give a, our playmakers a chance to make the make a play. Um, but been very pleased with our offensive line. You know, we got to continue to get better. They, they did a great job picking up uh, movement in the run game, which I thought you know was going to be tough on them. Um, but I thought we ran the ball fairly fairly well without our starting running back out there as well. So uh, very pleased with those guys up front. Well, Ryan shows he's he's physical. Um, he's not the best route runner. Um, he's not, you know, he's going to screw up a little bit where to line up and all that kind of stuff. But he's physical. He plays to the echo of the whistle. Um, if you go back and look at some of the plays that he's been in there the past two games, I mean, he's he's almost Michael Oren people, you know, uh, out of bounds, blocking them so hard uh, that they get they get so mad um, at him just blocking to the echo of the whistle. So uh, his physical mentality has been very big for him, um, and, and it's able him to, to to get a lot of playing time early on. Um, you know, we need everybody in that in that group in that room to be as physical as he is. And then also be able to run, run past routes and catch the football out of the backfield. Considering Ben hadn't taken a snap in a game in close to two years, what surprised you the most about his performance Saturday? Uh, you know, he just the way he was out there, the way he was calm on the headset when I get a chance to talk to him, and he was he was really calm. He was in tune to the game. Um, you know, talked to him after the game. Just he was he was disappointed, obviously, in the in the outcome. He really wanted to go home and win that one uh, for his family and his friends back home and and for the team. Um, but he was you know he was upset about that. But he was he just told me, coach, it feels good to to be sore again after a game. I mean, to feel to feel like I actually played and and to have bruises and to, and to, and to be sore enough to where I got to get treatment. And he goes, that's what I missed. You know, and, and, and that's what he missed. He missed getting hit, and he missed, uh, um, you know, just just the feeling of I played a game last night, uh, feeling, and 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 that's what's you know pretty cool to me is that you know he missed the part of getting, you know, not injured but getting hurt and getting beat up a little bit. He missed that part. So uh, he's a tough kid, and he stood in the pocket well uh, early on, um, and took some took some big shots for some Big Ten, I'm um, Big Big Twelve players. So. Um, uh, you know he he did a good you know he did he did what we needed him to do. We again we got to help him out. A guy's got to make some plays, um, and they will and they will as we move forward. When you get Xavier Jones back, do you envision a fairly even three man rotation, or do you see it more like North Texas where there's two with a, a change of pace back running sporadically? 
Well, um, you know, I, I think the, the best players got to play. I think we got to try to keep them healthy. Obviously, early in the season, it's hot, and um, we got cramps. We got in the first game, we had a lot of cramping, guys cramping. Um, so we would like to play early in the season, at least until the weather cools off, you know, a little bit to where we're, we're getting a good rotation, keeping some guys fresh. Um, obviously, we would have liked to have had Xavier other night um, against Baylor, but um, he was unable to go. So uh, we got to continue to bring on a lot of guys and, and see what they can do because there's a long, long season. Uh, never know what what injury is going to happen, and at any position, that's why we got to be ready for um, whatever whatever happens uh, throughout the course of the year. So, thanks, man.